Hey guys, I'm Henrique Rossato, Lord Evangelist from Brazil, and today I will show you the different ways you have to prepare your files before create a Lord animation. So usually we are looking for use vectors when we create a Lord animation because we can make it scalable and we can make it lighter when we export our animations. And because of it, we are looking for using softwares like Illustrator, XD, and Figma. Illustrator is a professional vector-based design and drawing program. And XD, Figma, and Sketch are prototyping tools for user experience and interaction design. So here in After Effects, I prepare three compositions, one for Adobe Illustrator, another to XD and for Figma and Sketch. I put both together because we will be using a plugin for both. So they will be exporting in the same way. In Adobe XD, this is how we import our animations. And here is the layer when come for After Effects. And we will see that our layers are Illustrator layers and if we will work in this way, when we export our Lottie animation, all these layers will be seen as images for the plugin. So the first thing that we have to do is convert as shape layers. So create, create shape layers from vector layers. You can see that we have some problem here but it's because uh, we have a gradient here. I will apply it. And so here we have a uh, gradient. And when we convert some gradient in After Effects from Illustrator, this won't be read. This data won't be read by After Effects. So you have to recreate this inside. And one other thing that I would like to show it's when we have this importation from Illustrator to After Effects, we can have this additional paths in our uh, layers, and we have to take care about this. I will do a quick exportation here in Lottie Files. So just need to export the first frame. We'll be hindering. And we can see this part this isn't visible here, but when we export, we have this bug. So when we are working with some files from Illustrator, we have to take a look in other layers and see if we had to clean up them. So we can go here in the legs, open the content, find the group, and identify what's the path is this one. I believe it's path one and delete and delete merge paths too. So clean up. You have to adjust the gradient. So you can go in few option and adjust here the gradient. Let reset it. So now we have our gradient again. Um, so Illustrator, we have these problems. Uh, we have some additional paths and some problems with gradient. If you have a composition with a lot of gradient, you have to recreate all of them. And this is, could be a little tough and waste a lot of time. So yeah, I believe for Illustrator is this. We can go for XD and XD is a little different from Illustrator because we have the option in the software to export directly for After Effects. For it, we just need to click or select our um, vector, uh, go file, go and export. And we can see this option After Effects and this will export directly for After Effects. And we have many layers here, but most of the layers are guide layers. Like all these green layers are guide layers. So you can delete 
And now we have just the layers of our character. The only problem that we have is that the gradient isn't a mask. It's working as an image and with a mask here. So for adjust it, you just have to open the layer and copy the mask path. Go on layer, new, shape layer, add a path and paste the path. You can go to position, cop, paste here, add gradient fill, and we have a new gradient. Just adjust the colors. For XD, it's pretty simple. They're an illustrator. We'll just have this problem about the, all the layers. Uh, we have to organize after, but I think for importation is pretty simple than Illustrator. We have the last possibility of some bugs in exportation. We can do exportation here. So just the first frame again, go XD, rendering, And if you see, we have our file perfectly. So go back and for last, we have Figma and Sketch. And for those is a little different because we need a plugin for that. In Figma and Sketch, we have AUX for it's a plugin for convert layers from Figma and Sketch direct to After Effects. And you just need to go here and download and download this last version. So it will be for Sketch or Figma, the same download. And here in Figma, we just need to select our frame. Uh, we need to put this vector in a frame to make the exportation. Click with the right button in the mouse, go in plugins development and we have the here IUX. We just click, open this window and send selection to After Effects. And it's pretty the same what we have here in XD. We have those guide layers that we can delete and we have the vector layers like in XD. Um, and we have to organize that. But um, this plugin is the only one that I see that we don't lose the data, the gradient data here. So I can do the exportation, rendering. And you see that everything is okay. Another good reason to use XG or Figma, it's because you can create your product in one of these um, softwares and take the vectors, export for After Effects, work the animation, and after it, you can export the animation, the load animation, and use a uh, lot of files plugin for preview this animation in the prototype in one of those softwares. Lodifier has a plugin for XD and Figma where you can prototype your animations inside your products. So I believe it is the both are the better ways to work in the workflow. I usually use Figma because my team use Figma to create the products and this make it faster to import all my files and export for them and they test the animations in the prototypes. So I believe that's it and hope you enjoy and see you in the next time.